What you gonna do when all shit fails? Flip you some birds or flip you some bells. I got some partners who dead or jail. You gonna keep it a hundred or is you gonna tell? I done live life and that shit fail. I'ma put numbers up every year. One day I'ma be a billionaire. I grew up going to the Boys and Girls Club and um, they had a computer lab. Like I never really seen computers, but they had computers. And that's when the internet kind of first came out. And I used to go on, uh, what was it? Like launch.com or something. They had music videos. And I seen Tilt video, it was 24s. And uh, I just, from there I was like, man, I wanna, you know, it made me wanna rap. Super head phase, just when you reach that level and you feel it, it's a certain type of energy you got. Like if you watch Dragon Ball Z, you turn Super Saiyan, you get an energy and you just go crazy. So I'm going Super Hefe right now, you know what I mean? I've been working, 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 and 2017 was just that year where like, I kinda just found that vibe and started going crazy. I feel like you just hear the growth and I stayed in my own lane, you know what I mean? Like I do me, I don't ever try to do other extra stuff. I got on KP's radar from shooting this video called Tatted Like Amigos featuring Chief Keef and that was in 2012. I shot the video in these apartments called Charge Town and it's on the south side from where I'm from. And he grew up in those same apartments and he just told me today, like he met me, he was like, yo, I had to get in contact with you because I never seen a Mexican in those apartments and that was just awesome, like it's crazy. Blase, blase, blase. Yeah, it is a large Mexican community, but um, they kind of have their own size of towns, you know. But when you see them, it's a lot, though. Yeah, we come deep. <laughs> I end up getting in touch with Pharrell from being signed to KP. He's good friends with Pharrell, and I had a session with him. And we just supposed to make a couple of songs, but I didn't really think he was gonna take a lot of interest in me. Played him some of my music that wasn't out yet, it was unreleased at the time. And he was just like, yo, like, I wanna rock with you, you know, you get any free beats that you want, whatever you want, man, come on. When I get my big old, big old, big old check, I'm not gonna go buy a Lambo and spend it all, everything. I'ma just buy what I want, you know. I feel like when you try to get everything and just splurge, that's when you kind of go broke. I want to help my family though, like my mom, she still got family in Mexico, you know, maybe get them some papers, you know, bring them to the U.S., get them a house one day, you know what I'm saying, in the U.S., have my mom live with them, because that's the only family she really got, but they in Mexico though. And, you know, I remember going. Where my mom's from um, and my dad is like real poor, it had like dirt roads. It was just one room, like, <laughs> you know, one whole room. That was the whole house, concrete floors. You got bugs everywhere. You can get bit by uh, <laughs> spiders, whatever, you know what I mean? Um, you had a, no bathrooms, you go outside, it's bathrooms outside. Take showers outside, you gotta get the water from the well. Like, yeah, it made me see, like, how fortunate I am. Um, the best part was just, you know, getting to see the people, though. They happy. They don't got a lot, but honestly, like, they happy. They very happy. And they work for what they have. And just seeing that just instilled something in my head. When you put me in there, I, I feel like I look different. Um, my music is different. My melody is different. You know, I'm from the South. I'm from Atlanta. I got you know, that certain type of style, but I just feel like I just do it differently though. Like you could, when you listen to my song, you could tell, tell mine apart from another artist. And also, me being um, Hispanic, Mexican-American, I always just love, it's nobody to represent us like that, you know, so I always just talk about things, you know, that people who are Hispanic can relate to because I know it can help them out.